Setting up your radio for digital modes can be a real challenge sometimes. Here are the most important settings that will get you up and running on FT8. Keep in mind the settings I'm changing here will apply to any radio, but you can also do a quick search online for your radio model. To start, you will need to disable your preamp, noise blanker and any form of noise reduction. Next, you should set your filter to about 3 kHz to hear all the stations in the FT8 band. Then set the power at 100%. You will change it later from the audio level in WSJTX. Also, it's important to set your AGC to slow and use USB as the mode. These are the basic settings you will need to change for FT8. Now let's take a look at WSJTX and the options it has. First you need to set your call sign and your grid locator. Here are some other things that I like to enable. Next select your radio and the port of the CAT interface. Every radio will be different so have a look online. Here you have to select the audio in and audio out from your radio. WSJTX also has a built-in log that you can enable from here. Also you can enable PSK Reporter which we will try in another video. Colors are a very useful setting and will help you when hunting for DXCCs, grids or different zones. Audio levels are very important. Your RX level should be anywhere from 50 to 70 dB. For the TX level you have to watch your ALC meter to make sure you don't overdrive your radio. If your ALC is high, you risk damaging your radio and your signal will be distorted and full of harmonics. Here I start with the power slider at the lowest level and slowly go up until the ALC meter starts to rise. At this point just back down until your ALC meter returns to zero. Also from here you can adjust your output power by varying the slider. Now that everything is set up, let's see how easy it is to make a QSO. Here I have CQ only enabled, so I only see CQ messages in the band activity window. Next we have the RX window where we can see the activity on our RX frequency. Down here we also have the waterfall where we can see the activity on the entire band and also move our TX and RX frequency. Here I've selected a clear part of the band and also selected hold TX frequency to work in split mode. Making a QSO is super easy. Just double click on a call sign and WSJTX will automatically start to call that station. After the QSO is complete you will see a window prompting you to log the QSO. Click OK and that's it. Calling CQ is just as easy, just find a clear frequency and select the CQ message. Now enable transmit and wait for someone to respond. After the QSO is complete, it will prompt you again to log that contact. Here's a bonus tip for all of you dark mode lovers out there. Just add this to the WSJTX shortcut on your desktop. You will find it as always in the description. Merry Christmas guys and have fun on FT8. Don't forget to like, subscribe and enable notifications from the bell icon. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. This is Yankee Oscar 9 Lima India Golf, over and out.